everyone. Welcome to the School Circle Series done by the 82nd Airborne Realism Unit, where we teach everything you could possibly want to know about ARMA topics. I am First Lieutenant Noble, the Commanding Officer of the 82nd, as well as the Commanding Officer of Alpha Company, and I'll be the host of your episode today. Um, we're going to be talking about maps and grid references. Before we dive into the more challenging parts of the map, let's uh, go over some of the basics. Up at the top here, where I'm moving my mouse, is some of important information that you need to know that could really help out. Um, first of which is the move map to player position. What that does is it moves the focus of your map to where you are. You have the thing that looks like the little stacked papers. That switches from the satellite map to the topographical map, which we're going to go over in a second. And finally, the time in game. And that is in a 24 hour clock standard, which is how the military tells time. So, as you can see right now, we're looking at the topographical view. And you probably see all of these lines with these numbers. Let's first start with the numbers. The numbers represent the altitude of a specific area in reference to the MSL, Mike Sierra Lima. What this means is the mean sea level. So this is 214 meters from this, which is zero. And if we were to look over here at Camp Maxwell, it is 230 meters above zero. All ARMA maps are measured in mean sea level. So that's based off of how high they are off of a point that is zero. And the next thing you'll see is these little lines. What these are known as is contour lines. They can tell us a lot of important things, how steep a terrain is or how flat it is. If we look over here, for example, these near vertical lines indicate a cliff. So right now this is a super steep cliff, this is near vertical. Whereas if we look over, say right around here for example, this is a gradual slope. The, more, the closer they are together, the steeper it is. So if we look right here, that's a decently steep slope. Whereas right here, this is much more gradual. And if you have them really sp spread out, that is flat or nearly flat. So that's very important when it comes to route planning, is you don't want to be walking up the side of a mountain if you don't have to. And that is something that we use on a daily basis in the 82nd when we're planning operations and planning a route that we're going to take to make our ease of movement. Moving on, you've probably noticed that there's these horizontal and vertical lines. Scrolled out like this, what each box represents is a 1 by 1 kilometer area. Um, these vertical and horizontal lines are what's known as grid lines. That is how the GPS system works, is you are within a certain area in the world and it assigns a number for each little quadrant, which is a 100 by 100 meter quadrant, which is what the smaller boxes are. So if I wanted to say where I am right now, you can see my little player, the four digit grid, which is what's known as a 1 by 1 kilometer area, would be 0, 4, Zero 05. How I got that is I dropped the last two numbers. So 04 and then there's a second 4, you drop that and then 05 and you drop the second 5 and that is a four digit grid and like I said earlier that is a one kilometer by one kilometer area. What ARMA defaultly displays is a 100 by 100 meter area so my 100 by 100 grid would be 041053. That's decently accurate. However, we can get much better in what's known as an 8-digit grid. So let's go up here up to um, Air Station Mike 26, and we are going to show you what an 8-digit grid is. So an 8-digit, the dome, which is right here, its 8-digit would be 04360389. The way I got that is I read the first three digits, 043, that is the horse, um, the uh, the vertical line, and then I add a number onto it. When you're doing this, you always have to walk to the elevator before you go up, or run before you jump. So 043, the radar dome's right here, so I go down, 6. So I add the 6 onto the end. Then I go up, 9. So... I add that to the end after the 8. So 0436-0439. Um, whenever you're doing this, it's really easy just to 
imagine these numbers down there. You can be you can be very sloppy, you can be decently sloppy with it in terms of how you imagine them as long as it's close. When you do an 8-digit grid, you're telling your location within 10 meters, so that's super accurate. Using lasers, um, as well as another mod that we have called the Smidger, you're able to get up to a 10-digit grid, which is a 1 by 1 meter area. However, let's just use the 8-digit. So each number down here represents 10 meters. So if this is our zero point, that'd be 10 meters away, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, all the way up to 100 meters. And same thing going vertical. So if we were in the middle of the grid, our grid would be 0435-0385. So like I said earlier, eight digit grids are super accurate. There's two other ways that are relatively easy that you can do grids as well. You have the quadrant system and the keypad system. Let's go over the quadrant system first. So what you do is you have these quadrants. Start, just do your cardinal directions, north, south, east, west, fill in in between, and then you have your central. So what this does is it'll give your position within the 100 by 100 meter area. So if I was in the center, I would say I'm a grid reference 041038 Charlie, meaning center. Let's say I was up here in the top right. I'd be at 041038 November Echo for the Northeast. And you can fill in the rest. Um, this is also very accurate, especially if you're inside of, let's say, a town or op an open field is where it's most useful as it's going to give your position in reference to the grid, making it easy for friendlies to identify where you are. The last system is probably the easiest to use for people that have keyboards as we have a number pad right next to us and this is what's known as the number pad system. Um, so you just imagine a number pad, how it goes 7, 8, 9, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3 and lay that over top of a grid. So how this would read is I'm in grid 0390385. So I'm in the center. If I were up here in the top right, 0390389. So let's do both systems with the radar dome we used earlier. So if I was using the quadrant system, the dome would be in 043038 November North. If I was using the keypad system, it'd be 043038. Any of these systems can be used and they are all accurate. It is your personal preference on what you use and how you use it. However, most people will recognize the eight digit and the six digit system, whereas the quadrant and the keypad system are little less used. Using any of these systems, you can get a very accurate location of yourself and others and allow for easy and smooth location communication, which is essential for backup in the heat of a firefight. Well guys, this concludes our episode. If you have any questions or comments about the video, feel free to post them in chat and we'll get back to you. As always, like, subscribe, and comment, and check out all of our other videos. Thanks for watching. Remember our motto, airborne all the way. Thanks guys. Lieutenant Noble, out.